You're watching the tutorial series for Read and Write for Google Chrome. In this video, I'm going to show you Read and Write's Audio Maker feature that can turn text into an MP3 file. That means you can save and listen to a recording of a reading anytime. So to begin, we always make sure that we are logged into our TCDSB Google Chrome account. I've got my Google Chrome browser open here and I've logged in. But to make sure I've logged in correctly, I'm going to click at the very top corner here on my profile icon. When I click on it, I should be able to see my TCDSB email address, which is right here. So I know I'm logged in. I can also see those extensions that are available to all students when you're in your account. That's Read and Write, Equatio, and PDF Reader. So we're all set up on Google Chrome. I'm going to head over to this website here so we can use Audio Maker. Let's pull up the Read and Write toolbar by clicking once on the purple puzzle piece. To use Audio Maker, we first have to highlight the text that we want read and saved. So I'm going to take my cursor, click and drag, and then I'm going to click on this icon here that looks like a document wearing headphones. When you click on it, you'll see a progress bar working to save your file. And there it is. So it'll automatically save to your designated downloads folder on your device. You can easily transfer this file into your Google Drive so you can share it with others or listen on the go on another device such as a tablet or your phone. Canadians have plenty of opinions about politics, so it should come as no surprise. The audio maker feature can also be used with other Google apps such as Docs, Slides, and Jamboard. I have a Google Doc open here and all I have to do is follow the same steps, highlight, click on the icon to save an MP3 file of the reading. So whether you're using Google Classroom or D2L, Read and Write is available to all students. So give this audio maker a try and see what Read and Write can do for you. Thanks for watching.